Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CPP Nets video series on STL algorithm and this video is about partial sort. So before this video we have covered STL introduction and sorting and is sort function of algorithm and this video is the fourth one in this series. So I would recommend please watch those videos first so that you will get the idea or at least you should watch and at least you should watch sorting because I have talked about this algorithm little more like how the algorithm actually work and what are the parameters you pass so you will get more idea so let's talk about this partial sort algorithm this is a simple algorithm it takes a range see if you take this partial sort here it takes a range but it has little different syntax than the previous one which is sort so the idea is like this there are three parameters there are actually more than three parameters but i will show you those parameter little later. So consider there are three parameters and you are saying that I would consider it from beginning to end. Now this middle argument is a middle argument which will tell that from beginning to the middle one. So currently I am pointing at beginning plus four meaning zero, one, two, three, four. So I'm pointing at this eight right now here with this one. So it's like we are saying that dude cover whole array. I mean vector but sort from beginning to the middle one and the range is like this from first to middle and these bracket this is square bracket and this is round bracket and here square bracket meaning we are including first and round bracket meaning we are excluding the middle one so if you are saying that dude sort my vector and consider whole vector but sort only from this place to this place because you have given middle as eight. So it will only sort this much place, but it will consider whole array, meaning it will find the correct placeholder in whole vector. Okay, I'll show you the result here. Let me compile this and execute this. See what it is doing. It is sorting these four places only. So we ask that you can look for the better elements in whole vector that's why it brought this zero in the first and then one here as first i mean second two and three so now you might be wondering that why this eight seven six nine five zero is in this order so the order is undefined once you do the sorting meaning you are saying that from beginning to middle you sort excluding the middle one then the rest elements position will be undefined so you cannot say that okay five is coming from here to here then it will come to some specific place no that order is not defined so let's look at these notes so it will be very clear so the partial sort rearrange the elements such that the range first and middle excluding middle contains the sorted element so see zero is considered for first because i have said that consider from beginning to end see from beginning to end what if i do not want to take this zero let me decrement it let's save this compile this and execute this see this time it is not taking this one see this time this zero is here only and one two four five have come before it was coming here i mean this zero was coming here okay hey guys time for a quick pause and what you are seeing right now is my patreon page so if you don't know what is patreon it's a crowdfunding website where you can support any content creator like me and in return you get rewards so if you join me i can be your private tutor or you just want to chat with me and ask your doubts or maybe you just want to support me with very small amount and i'll still have something for you so do visit my patreon page and see if you like it and if you want to discontinue anytime you can do that so if you have already visited my patreon page let's continue our video now so if you see this cpp reference Dot com you can see these many overloads are available for this particular functions so i am particularly interested in this last one which is saying that you can have the first element as the execution policy so if you are watching my series i have already talked about this execution policy you can run this algorithm in parallel if you want to and your data supports that then you can use execution policy and then the first element and middle element and the last element and after that we have this compare function and the by default sort is obviously 
increasing order sorting we can do this greater integer and this so if i'll say this let's compile this and execute this see now it is decreasing order see eight seven and six so these three positions are sorted but in decreasing order okay so we did not complete these nodes here the order of equal element is not guaranteed to be preserved meaning if there are similar element like there are two three zeros here and they are placed here and there then the order of those zeros are not fixed meaning i can pick this zero if it is here i can place it somewhere or i can pick this zero and place there it's not fixed that i will take which zero so if there are multiple duplicate elements there is no guarantee and then another point is the order of remaining element is unspecified that's what i tell if you are sorting this much only then whatever the other elements are their position is not defined and don't be confused with the sorting here because in sorting also we give range like uh, begin to end remember but that sorting is different there you will sort whatever the range is given you will sort everything but here we have this middle concept also okay so don't get confused with that so with this i'll conclude this video thanks for watching guys i will see you in the next videos bye bye take care